Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today's video, I am giving you guys some extreme cleaning motivation because we have been in and out all week and you guys know Wednesdays are hard enough. I decided to knock everything out once the kids went to bed and I decided to take you guys along with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel or, or if this is your first time watching, welcome. My name is Fantasia. I am a stay at home mom of three and I post motivational cleaning videos like this weekly. I also post post lots of other mommy motivational videos so if you like content like this i would love to have you join my youtube family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads usually if i'm cleaning at nighttime, i will start in the kitchen in the living room but tonight i had to get our room cleaned up because there were just too much stuff going on on these floors and i don't know about y'all but i cannot go to bed if there are things on the floor so i just wanted to start here to pick everything up so when my husband got the shower and i got done cleaning we could just go straight to bed so my original thought process was to change out the sheets and the pillowcases but then i realized that we didn't have any more clean pillowcases so i couldn't do that y'all i cannot go to sleep if there are things on the floor I I just cannot do it i cannot even relax if there are things on the floor so that's why I, I truly wanted to start in our bedroom because things were all out of whack the house was crazy enough the last thing i wanted to worry about was laying down and there were things all over the floor we have been in and out all week so i haven't had time to really just pick up after myself so everything has been going on the floor that's one of the things that i truly appreciate about my husband is he doesn't complain whenever he comes home and there's things on the floor or there's things that he has to help out with because having three kids and you guys know wednesdays are hard enough so it was just really really good to have here to help me pick up things throughout the house and just get things situated so the next day wouldn't be so hard so I think it's funny because before I started to film this cleaning video, I actually thought it was going to be a speed clean video, but then I looked around the house and I realized that things were just so crazy. I had a long day. My husband was ready for it to be Friday. London's been fussy. Jonah may as well be walking because he has been getting into every single thing, you guys. So it was a really, really hard day. The sad part about having such a rough time, you guys, it was only Tuesday. So I still had the whole entire week to make it through and I was already having a rough week. Which also brings me to, I think every Wednesday, I would like to give you guys some cleaning motivation because like I said, Wednesdays are one of the harder days of the week for me. I can barely make it through. And cleaning is one of the last things on my list. But with the new schedule that I have for the kids, I cannot let Wednesdays get me down. So I have to just keep it going. If I don't keep it together, Wednesdays are the days that the house gets so messy it turns into a huge complete disaster so i did not want that to happen which is again why i am cleaning at nighttime so the next day i woke up it can kind of set the tone to have a good day because the house is clean things are done and i'm still on track So my husband did come in to help me and you guys, I am not even going to say what happened in this part of the video, but it was so funny. I was cracking up the whole entire time we were making this bed. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching, I did do a video on decorating my husband and I's room. It was a really cheap room decor, kind of makeover. I really love how the room turned out. It is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house now. I can actually wake up every morning and look right in front of me and I feel good about everything that I added to the room. So if you would like to check that video out, I will have that video linked in my description and in the iCards for you. We didn't put too much focus on making the bed because like I said, this was at nighttime. So after I got done cleaning, we were just going to go to bed anyway. Now that I am watching this video back, I do think I am going to have to take the curtains down and probably iron them because all of the wrinkles in the curtains, they are just really getting to me. Am I the only person that has a problem whenever you see wrinkles in your curtains? Let me know down in the comments. We added this bookshelf to our room. We got it from Target for $15. I think it was a really great find. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see it full of books. Right now, I am just wiping it down. Y'all know I am the queen when it comes to wiping stuff down. I just feel like if anything can collect any type of dust, it needs to be wiped down daily. So I'm really not sure what we should call this. 
again i am going to be posting a video every wednesday just to motivate you guys in just your daily life because like i said wednesdays are the days where i'm just like oh my gosh can it be friday already because the kids are driving me up a wall so i thought it would be really great to invite you guys into our chaos and let you guys see what's going on so i'm going to be posting a cleaning video or if you guys would like to see vlogs on Wednesdays, I can do that too. But I just want to share the chaos with you guys. And just to let you know that if I can get it done, you can get it done too. promise I did not sweep this rug and there was nothing on it this rug looks so disgusting in person I actually need to wash it so that's why I was sweeping it just to get all the hair off I decided to just get the hallway clean because I feel like whenever I look down the hallway I just want to see a clean hallway not a hallway filled with toys or dog hair or anything like that so i thought i would share this funny story with you guys so earlier this week it was raining so usually whenever it rains i like to let the kids bring their balance bikes in so they can ride them throughout the house especially now that we don't have the rug out i have been letting them ride the bike in the house a lot more well my daughter did not grab her balance bike she grabbed her three-wheel tricycle that has the seat that you can lift up well she put dirt in the seat every time she was riding her bike there was like a trail of dirt following her and i was looking like where is this dirt coming from and i promise y'all i was looking 20 minutes before i realized that it was coming from her tricycle it was in her seat the whole entire time and london and Jaden were just cracking up laughing because there was just dirt all over the house they were laughing at the fact and how clueless I looked when I was trying to find the dirt. Also, a huge shout out to Ashley from My Life is Ashley for doing this video with me. You guys know, as I said earlier on in the video, I wanted to do like a Wednesday hump day cleaning motivation. So, huge shout out to Ashley. Thank you, girl, so much for doing this with me. You guys, I will have Ashley's information listed in my description box. Y'all, I won't lie, I was really excited that the kitchen did not have a lot of stuff on the countertops or in the sink and the dishwasher was empty because I really was not in the mood to do a deep cleaning of the sink, especially now that I had it in the back of my mind that I needed to clean the floors. I just wanted to get this kitchen done and have it be over with so I can move on to the living room. Cause you make it real, yeah. So we had Chinese for dinner tonight and it was really, really good, but we are a Mexican food type of family. Let me know down in the comment if you prefer Chinese food or Mexican food. Y'all, I won't lie, I felt really bad for ordering Chinese food. I just couldn't shake the feeling of, oh my gosh, like you should have just cooked dinner tonight. You stay home all the time. Why didn't you have dinner ready? But like I said, Tuesday was really hard. I did not want to cook dinner. I really just wanted to relax. Sent the kids to bed at 7.30. That's how crazy it was. I was just like, you know what? Y'all about to eat this food and y'all are about to go to bed. But even though I was feeling bad, it kind of made up for it because when it came time to clean up, I didn't have that much to do in the kitchen, so I felt really good about that. The layers are peeled away. The kitchen rugs that I have are from Target. I can't remember the price, but all I know is they are really worth it. I've had these rugs for a while now and I absolutely love them. I wash them about once a week because I'm telling y'all so much stuff drop on these rugs, but they still look great. A different side of me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side. So you guys already know I am using the Thieves Household Cleaner to clean the countertops tonight. Well, to clean every single thing tonight. I use this for everything. Our floors, the countertops, the cabinets, everything, you guys. I absolutely love it. The glass spray bottle that I am using, I know a lot of people have asked questions about that. The glass spray bottle that I use, I personally do not like because I feel like they break really easy. However, I did order me new glass spray bottles and I absolutely love them. To have the glass spray bottle that I am now using listed in my description box for you guys the glass spray bottle that i am using in this video i do not have it listed in my description box just because i really don't like it i feel like the handle broke really really easy i got it in like a week later the handle kind of broke it's still kind of broken but i still use it you just have to mess around with it so i don't want you guys to get that and then it break however i do have different glass spray bottles linked in my description box so the only cleaning product that I use around the house now is the Young Living Thieves Household Cleaner. That's all I use to clean around the house. I like the fact that you only 
have one bottle of cleaner for the whole entire house. I know for me, I used to have all these different bottles of cleaner and I would just walk back and forth grabbing one or the other, but now I only have one bottle that I use throughout the house and it is awesome, you guys. It saves me so much time. On top of that, it is 100% natural. I absolutely love it. Young Living is where I get all of my cleaning products and I also get my essential oils. I also use the oils for cleaning and diffusing and I have a couple roller blends that I like to roll on my wrists and the kids back, spine, and feet throughout the day. Moving on to the kitchen table, we had noodles, Chinese rice, like we just had it all going on over here on this table. Jaden wanted noodles, but he also wanted ketchup in his noodles. Is my child the only child that likes to try different type of food blends to see if he'll like it? Surprisingly, he really did like the ketchup in his noodles. I guess it's from him seeing me put hot sauce in my noodles, so he wanted to try ketchup. But whenever it comes to Jaden trying different type of food blends, I always like to let him do it because I do not want to be in control of him saying, oh, I like this or I don't like this. I just want him to make his own decision. And tonight he wanted ketchup with noodles. That was beyond me, y'all, but I just let him do it anyway. So I recently had someone comment below and tell me that I really need to get a marker to cover up the blemishes on the table. And listen, y'all, I do not want to fix anything about this table. I'm not trying to get all mushy or anything, but for me, when I look at this table, I see something that my husband and I purchased after we were married. So I really don't want to change anything about it. I honestly love the table how it is. Not only that, but the kids are so hard on this table. It would be crazy to try to fix this table up, knowing that the table is going to get messed up because the kids are in those stages where they are curious and they want to do everything. So I'm fine with how it is. So I did start to wipe the chairs down and then later on my phone ended up turning off so I couldn't finish wiping the chairs down on camera but I did do it off camera. That's why you guys see me wiping the chairs down and then it goes straight to me putting the chairs away. Now it is time for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is actually not even a comment. This is more like a shout out, a thank you to the colorful nanny over on Instagram, you guys. She did the sweetest thing. The last video that I posted, she said she was supposed to be getting ready to leave. Instead, she stopped what she was doing to watch my cleaning video. I just wanna say thank you guys for that. That stuff truly means so much to me. When I post a cleaning video and you guys comment and you talk about me on other social media sites, that literally makes my whole entire day. So thank you so much for that, girl. I truly love all of the love and support that you gave me that day. It made me feel really good. So thank you for that. This video is for you, girl. If you are new to my channel and you don't know what comment of the day is, each day I go through my comments and I read all of them and you guys know I am always responding back to you. That is one of the things that I love to say about myself is I try to respond back to you guys every single video. So I know that most days it takes me a couple of days to respond, but I will always respond back to you guys. And one of the things that I am finding joy in is finding my absolute favorite comment and just giving you guys a shout out to say thank you for coming back each and every video to say something to me, to say hey, to do anything. I don't care what you guys comment. Any comment makes my day. So thank you guys for that. Once I was done washing the pots and pans, it felt so good. I feel like sometimes washing the pots and pans, it kind of takes it out of me. On most days, I don't even want to do it. And I'm really proud of myself because tonight, I just wanted to hide these dishes in the dishwasher and just go about my business, but I didn't. I washed the dishes by hand and then I ended up running the dishwasher. So I'm really proud of myself. My husband was in the living room playing the game, but he was also helping me out a little bit by cleaning up around him. And I'm really proud of him too, because usually whenever he's playing the game, he does not even hear me he doesn't do anything he just talks to his friends but on this night he was really helpful so I was really happy about that 
Let me know down in the comments if your husband is the same way when it comes to football, games, or his friends, or whatever it is that he does. Even if he is working on his car in the garage, let me know down in the comments if you can relate to this. So usually any dishes that I wash by hand, I will usually let them air dry, but I just went ahead and dry them by hand because I wanted this stuff to be over with and I knew once these dishes were done, everything else was done so I could just move right along. Did want to just wipe the stove down. It doesn't matter if we cook or not. I feel like the stove still gets messy, so I like to do this once a day, even if I don't cook. Even if I try, try so hard. Tell me what you do now. These kitchen floors made my skin crawl. I know that they look good on camera, but in person, my skin was crawling, you guys. I couldn't even move on to wiping down the cabinets because I had to get floors swept up. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot move forward if I know that there is stuff all over the floor. So I just wanted to take the extra time to stop and clean these floors before I moved on to the cabinets. So I didn't get a chance to get a close-up of the cabinets, but I gave London something with honey on it. So she had honey all over her hands. So she just left honey handprints all over these cabinets. So in order to avoid ants, I had to wipe these down tonight because I did not want to wake up with ants over the cabinet doors. Did have to make another bottle of cleaner. For those of you that are new, I use the Thieves Household Cleaner and it only takes one cap full of the cleaner to make a whole bottle of cleaner and that's what I absolutely love about it. So I bought this one cleaner about three months ago, you guys, and it is still a half a bottle in there. I haven't bought any new cleaner. I've just been surviving off that one bottle of cleaner. Now moving on to this living room, I told you guys earlier that this house was just all out of whack and I wanted to clean it. This was just the heart of the house, of the whole entire mess that I had to get done. If you guys watched the last two vlogs that I have posted recently, then you saw that London got new Barbies, Jaden got new Legos, and of course those are the main two things that were on the floor tonight. So thank you to his grandmother for buying them those toys. They absolutely love them, but at the end of the night, especially since I sent them to bed early, I ended up having to pick those toys up and put them away. It moved Jaden's bedroom table to the living room because whenever he comes home from school, he usually puts his backpack right there and takes his shoes off at the door and takes his folder out and put it on the table so we can look through it. That's kind of what we do together. I will be sharing a after school routine that I have for Jaden, so stay tuned for that video. I know that I have gotten a lot of requests for that. I'll be honest, when I was cleaning this living room, it felt so good to know that I did not have a complete disaster really to clean up. Y'all know usually I am having to move the furniture out of the way, move the TV stand just to get all of their toys and make sure I clean everything the right way. But it felt good knowing that the house was really clean. All I had to do was pick things up and keep going. So that was really exciting. Keep on staring at the pavement. Got no 
I finally know how I would like to add decor to our TV stand. I was watching Karima's video the other day and I just really loved how she added decor to her kitchen table. It looked so cute, you guys. So I finally know what I would like to do to the TV stand. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that video because it's gonna be a good one. So I did go to the Target Dollar Spot and I ended up finding a super cute throw blanket. It was only $7 and I absolutely love it. This is something that I feel like I can use every single year. The only other thing that I would like to add to the couch is maybe one or two pillows. The one thing that I have noticed with myself is everything that I pick out for this house is honestly a neutral color. So I really need to start adding pops of color to our house because now that I am looking around and looking at everything, everything is around the same color and it would look really good if I just add like some pops of orange or during Christmas time add pops of red. I always like to save sweeping and mopping for last. It's just something about having a clean house and only having to do the floors afterwards. Let me know down in the comments if you guys always save sweeping and mopping for last. You guys gave me some really good recommendations on what I should do to get rid of this piecemeal in our rug and I will be trying some of those this week so I just want to say thank you to everybody that took the time to give me options on what I should use to get rid of the smell. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that participated in my game this or that when it came to the vacuum or the shark steam mop. I did give away the shark steam mop to my good friend here on YouTube. Her name is Crystal, you guys. She's so sweet. I was so excited that she won the shark steam mop because she has been here every single video supporting me, supporting my channel, and boosting me up and making me feel great about myself. So thank you and shout out to her. For my 10K giveaway, I will still be giving away the vacuum, so stay tuned for that, you guys, because I am almost there. I'm using my Thieves Household Cleaner to clean the floors. This is something that I absolutely love about the cleaner is the fact that I can use it on my floors too. I love the smell and I love how we clean our floors. It feels great to know that I actually have clean floors without all the toxic chemicals. I did in the past, but my daughter is going through the stage where she is running around licking everything. So she gets down to lick the floors too. So it's nice to know that I am not having her lick the floors and I'm putting toxic chemicals on the floors.
And just when I thought I was done, I completely forgot that I had to get the laundry started for tomorrow. If you guys have been watching my videos, then you know that I like to put the laundry in at nighttime and then start our time delay on our washer. And then I like to start it for about 7 o'clock in the morning. That way, whenever we get up and I get Jaden to school and I come home, the clothes are already done. That has been a huge lifesaver because I don't have to worry about getting the clothes together in the morning and starting them in the washer. They're already in the washer and they're done by the time I make it back home. Our laundry room area is a pretty tight space, so this is a room that I like to clean every single day because this is where we do most of our walking in and out. So I like to make sure that it's clean because with tight spaces, whenever things get crowded and messy, it is so overwhelming and I just cannot take it. sharing my new laundry routine in a video for you guys i'm so excited because that is something that is new content for my channel so i hope you guys enjoyed that video as well since i threw the kids clothes into the washer with my husband and i's clothes to make a full load i am only using the young living thieves laundry soap i absolutely love this since i've been using this my daughter has not been having flare-ups so this is a plus i also use the seventh generation laundry soap to help with her eczema as well Whenever it comes to my kids' clothes or their bedding, I will not use the scent boosters that we have. In order to replace that, I will use my Living Essential Oils, and then I will put a few drops onto a wool dryer ball, and then I will put the clothes into the dryer. That's how I get their clothes to smell good without using the scent boosters. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you.